everybody. Call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to share with you, so often we go into a new listing that we get or maybe we're taking a buyer through and we see these awkward nooks and uh, maybe under a dormer window, these, these awkward areas, uh, maybe at the end of a hallway, maybe under the steps. It's just awkward and, and you don't know what in the world would you do with this space and you stand there with the buyer or the seller and you go well I wonder what 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 you could use that space for and this is just a piece of advice for anyone out there looking if you're looking to sell and you have these awkward spaces and the best thing you can do is give the potential buyer a idea of what you could do in that area could you put a desk under here and put a little laptop there uh, could it be a kid's desk if it's too short? Could it be a kid's uh, little play area? Could it, you can name it. Could it be a place where you put the dog's kennel? You, you know, it, it's something, uh, could you put a bookshelf there? Could you, you can only imagine. But when you have these odd places, don't make that buyer stand there and wonder, what in the world could you do with that space? Give it a purpose. Don't hide it. Don't just kind of put something over it to cover it. Show them what you could actually do with the space. Be creative. Go on Pinterest. Uh, go on Howl's, uh, H-O-U-Z-Z, -Z, the, the app uh, where you can get great ideas on things like this. But uh, when you have those awkward areas, go ahead and show them uh, and show everybody what you can do with it. And you might just find you're a lot more creative than you thought. So uh, and, and really kind of think, why didn't I think about that? before I decided to sell. So anyway, just be prepared for those awkward places and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.